Hey, what's going on everyone? I appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Fallout 76 video. Recently I uploaded a video showcasing 10 spooky camps around in the game, and one of them was located near the Alpine River Cabins location, which is a location you can find pretty early in the game. It's not too far from Vault 76. As you can see, it's located right here on the map. Anyways, when I came at this location to check out the camp, I briefly explained what's causing the haunting scenario over at this area. If you haven't been here, there's a lot of bizarre things happening here, and I'll be showing you that here in a little bit. If you already know what's causing the unusual things happening at this location, then this video isn't really going to be all that entertaining to you. But I did notice, and that's what Chain Reacted this video to be made, a few comments talking about this mysterious place. So I thought maybe there's even more out there, because this is a pretty interesting area. And after all, one of the guys who commented about not even knowing about this was level 300, as you can see. I'm just blocking out the spoilers about all of this for now on the comment. I'll show the full comment at the end. Also, I'm blocking out the other part of his username just for respect of him because I'm not exactly sure if it's his last name or anything. So yeah, if he didn't know about it, I'm sure there's got to be others out there that don't as well. So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to make a video specifically over this area. So I'm going to be going over a bit of the lore around in this area and just showing you the bizarre things that happen at this place. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this now. Hopefully this is something new and entertaining for y'all. As you can see, I am at Alpine River Cabins right now. And I waited until it was night just to give it more of that spooky atmosphere around this area because there is a lot of spookiness happening here. Such as, well, for starters, you can hear screams around this area. You hear that? Definitely doesn't sound like a joyful scream either. Also sometimes here, there's these random earthquakes that will happen and your screen will shake a bit and you can also notice like dust or dirt or something falling from the top of the cabins when that starts to happen. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for it to happen just to give you an example of it. Boom. The ground shaking. That's so crazy and eerie. Also inside the cabins you can sometimes see the pictures on the walls move. And there you have it, the pictures on the walls just moved. That is seriously some creepy stuff. Now I will say, randomly stumbling across this place, at least for me, I automatically assumed that this place was actually haunted. That eventually I was going to find a ghost, or that a ghost appeared at some sort of time. I mean, this place has a lot of things referencing toward a haunting. Like another example, the doors will automatically close too, without anyone around closing them. Like, as you saw, they both just shut right there, and there's no one in any of these cabins to shut the door. But yeah, anyways, there's a little bit of lore too that we can check out around this area about what's going on here. The first thing that you can find is a hollow tape that will be located on this desk here. Let's go ahead and listen into what this says. Hi, this is Gabe Ramses, and I'm leaving this message to inform the Parks and Rec Department of the horrible experience my family and I had this week at the Alpine River Cabins. Look, we were all looking forward to a nice weekend getaway in the wilderness, but between the constant shaking in the cabins, rodent swarms, and blood-curdling screams, well, I'm more stressed than I was before. My boys were so upset they swore they saw the picture frames spinning on the walls. My tax dollars pay your salaries, so I demand recompense, or you can bet I'll do my darndest to make sure that money is in someone else's pocket next election. And one more thing. Maybe you can get off your lazy butts and pick up some garbage here. This place is filthy. I know all the recent hubbub about atomic war, but that doesn't mean the place has to look like it was just hit with a nuclear bomb. So yeah, as you heard, that guy that stayed in this cabin with his family didn't have such a great time with all of the ruckus happening, such as the screams, the shaking, the pictures on the walls moving, all that. Anyways, we can find some more uh, information about this place right over here at the guest book. Let's go ahead and read this real quick. So on this day, Brendan and Lori Ehrenholt stated this was a perfect place to relax for the weekend. They'll be back soon. 
and then it seems a little further in the future, the Jefferson family wrote, The kids love swimming in the pond and spotting the local deer. Visitors must feed them often. They are everywhere. Hmm. And then a little further in the future, James, Blake, Allison, and Stephanie stated it was boring. There's nothing to do around here and they won't be coming back. And then further in the future, the Taylors said, Overall, very peaceful location. We heard some weird noises the first night. Assumed it was just some teens messing around. Yeah, they might have heard the screams, I'm assuming. Anyways, further in the future, Jackson and Beverly Hart said, Creepy noises, bears roaming around too close to night, and I swear the pictures on the walls were changing positions. Will not be visiting again. So they're talking about, you know, everything that we're witnessing here. So it was going on pre-war as well, before the bombs actually dropped. Turns out this is kind of like a Scooby-Doo Easter egg. I don't know if it's actually an Easter egg to Scooby-Doo, but it definitely reminds me of Scooby-Doo's mysteries. Um, so anyways, if you follow the wire that's connected to this megaphone up here, which, by the way, uh, spoiler alert, I'm sure some of you have already caught on, but this is what's causing the screams, these megaphones. Anyways, yeah, if we follow these wires, they'll lead to some more megaphones, which, you know, we sometimes hear screams in the distance. But yeah, further up here, if we keep following the wire, we'll notice that it reaches to this tree house. And up in this tree house, we could find this terminal. And on this terminal, as you can see, we can lure creatures, which if you guys remember the guest book, when it was stated about how many animals were showing up, well, this was how. They were using this to lure the creatures. The deer and bears and everything. I believe anyways. Also, if you choose this option here to stop automated sequence, you can notice that we got all these different options here. And these different options are what we were witnessing down below at Alpine River Cabins. As you can see, play sound is running currently. That's the scream, by the way, that we hear. Um, let me go ahead and get back on this. So yeah. Once you choose play sound, you can hear that. And if you choose rotate pictures, the pictures will then be rotating right now. Um, you can also simulate an earthquake. You can also close the cabin doors, which that is what was happening before. That's why all of that was happening once again down at Alpine River Cabins. A pretty cool little thing to know about in the game. Anyway, something else neat about this is that you can place a camp here if you want. You can build at this location. Check it out. See? If I wanted to, I could move my camp here. Right here is where the treehouse is located at too. So right by Alpine River Cabins. Something to keep in mind, this would be a pretty unique location to build a camp. And it's just an FYI. And by the way, I am not, of course, the first person to figure out this mystery. I'm not saying that whatsoever. There has been plenty of other people that have made videos over this location. As you can see here with a simple YouTube search. So I'm not saying that whatsoever. Feel free to go check out these other videos as well and show them some love. I just decided to make this because this is something cool to learn about in the game if you don't know about it. It's something unique, but that's the added into the game for us to discover. And in my opinion, it's actually pretty creative. It's like a Scooby-Doo mystery. Although I was a little let down that we didn't get to see like some kind of ghost or something. That would have been actually cooler than just stumbling upon the treehouse with the terminal. But still, nonetheless, that was really creative. And I enjoyed it. And I like how, once again, you could place a camp up there too. Figured it does deserve a bit more attention. It seems Bethesda put some more thought into this location. Anyways, yeah. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I was going to show you the full comment. As you can see, he said I'm a level 300 and I had no clue that there was a computer emitting scream noises and earthquakes at the haunted cabins. Mind blown emoji. So him just saying that helped inspire me to make this video. I thought, you know, once again, if he didn't know about it, maybe there's others out there that don't as well. Hopefully that's the case. Because once again, Bethesda did put a bit more work into this area. It's definitely creative and does deserve a bit more attention. Anyways, yeah, I guess that's all wrapping up this video, everybody. Hopefully you found this enjoyable and this was something new to you. I'm out of here, everyone. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.